Welcome to CP 101 and I thought I would show the conversion kit from Hearts Parts Resin in case anybody wanted to take a look at it. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah, I'm losing my voice. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, description uh, to this kit and then I'll put the name up here on the screen and you can uh, also the web address. You can go take a look at his website and look at the other stuff that he carries. He carries a little bit of everything. Um, the conversion kits for different cars and bucket seats and um, it doesn't have a whole lot but he has enough that uh, um, you know he might have something you're looking for um, so anyway this kit is for the uh, monogram uh, super B kit uh, it won't fit the old MPC Cornet kit uh, that kits 120 fifth and uh, this one's 124th so these pieces will be too big for that MPC body but uh, I got the kit that has the uh, bench seat for the front um, this kit here is $21 and uh, he has another version of this kit without the seat for $18 so if you want to run uh, the stock uh, buckets or different buckets uh, you can save yourself uh, three bucks and get the kit without the seat. Uh, I got it because I thought, uh, what the hell, uh, I always run bucket seats. And I thought it would be kind of nice to run bench uh, in the front for a change. So, uh, the bench seat comes with the headrests. Uh, you can drill the holes out in the top and, and uh, position the headrests uh, wherever you want them. It's up to you. And the nice thing about these is that obviously the pattern on his seat uh, matches the pattern on the molded in rear seat. So uh, you'll have matching seat patterns if you go uh, with the uh, bench. So that's kind of cool. So that's one part of the kit, which is spiffy. Uh, the hood is right here. Pretty nice. Uh, I know it's kind of hard to see some of the detailing on this being it's in white, but uh, it uh, fits the car okay. It's a little tight, but that's good. I'd rather sand a little off the edges and get a nice good fit instead of having, you know, the hood maybe too small. So uh, that's the hood. And then you get the air scoops. for or, Yeah, the um, Ram air scoops uh, as well. If you wanted to run it as just a regular stock coronet, uh, you can just leave the scoops off and just run the stock hood. So there's that. Uh, and then uh, we have the uh, side scoops. Uh, my brother had these on his car. He had a Super B as you saw earlier. So uh, we have the side scoops for it. And then last but not least, we have the tail panel, uh, which uh, the Super B had the two tail lights, uh, the RT had the three, and it's a perfect fit. Uh, the um, Hopefully I'll get this right and not wrong, it's been a while. Uh, the Super B and the uh, Coronet 440 had two tail lights. Now the Coronet 440 was just a trim package. Uh, it didn't mean the car had a 440 in it. And then the uh, Coronet Deluxe, the Coronet RT, and then the Coronet 500 had the uh, three tail lights. Um, so there's that. And then he gives you <coughs> the uh, tail light bezel. And then he gives you the lens, which is uh, pretty cool. So we'll have to do some cleanup on these pieces, but. You get that with any, you know, any resin piece. You got a little bit of cleanup to do. So there's that, and, and that's uh, really about it uh, for the conversion kit. That's what you get. 
Uh, if you wanted to turn this into a Coronet 500, uh, what you'd have to do is take the stock uh, or the kit supplied grill and add a center bar uh, to um, turn it into a 500. But uh, it, it's doable, it wouldn't be that hard to do using the kit supplied grill to convert that over. A little bit of uh, amazing sculpt and you have a center bar. So that's not. Uh, it's not too big of an issue if you wanted to build yourself a 500. So that's it. That's the conversion kit and uh, it's pretty nice. I've ordered stuff from Vaughn before and uh, it's usually pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we're anxious to get started on this, and uh, which will be uh, soon. And uh, looking forward to having some fun with this kit. and. Our weather has changed, so we're in the 40 degree, 30 degree temperature now. Can't believe it, it, it just like turned overnight. We went from a nice cool 70s uh, every day to uh, low 40s and nights are down in the low 30s. And it's like, oh man, uh, time to break out the flan uh, flannel shirts. So. But can't stop, uh, can't stop the season, so we just got to deal with it. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, hope you enjoy the uh, kit. Uh, and uh, as I said, uh, check out Vaughn's website. Might be something on there that uh, you might find useful. And um, yeah, all right, guys, take care. We'll see you in the next video.